Well, hey everyone out there, thanks for choosing our short explanation of the card game Sust. It kind of sounds like it's an Among Us style game, but no, this is a more of a, a get to know the people that you are playing with, or how well do you know that the people that you're playing with. It's Chris here from JMNC Games, and today we're going to look at this icebreaker game that is for two to eight players, ages six and up, and the average game time is going to depend really on how many people are playing the game, uh, but it can be anywhere from uh, just about 10 minutes up to about a half an hour, depending on uh, if you have only two players or if you have uh, eight players. Now, if uh, you haven't already done so, please take a moment to like and subscribe to the channel. We greatly do appreciate that. It sure does help us grow. Now, with this game, it does have a few different ways to play. We're just going to cover the uh, the main uh, game, but if you take a look in the uh, instructions, you'll see there's actually several variants, and it's quite easy to actually take the game and make it your own and create your own version of the game. But right now, let's dive in and take a look at what's inside the box. There are the scenario cards, voting cards for each player, and a joker card for each player. To set up, make sure that each player has one of each of the voting cards, A, B, and C. Plus, each player should also get a Joker card. Take the rest of the cards and shuffle them. Deal one card to each player and place the rest face down. Players need to decide who will be the first player or reader of the game. Each player will need to be the reader an even amount of times during play. Whoever is the first reader will take a look at their scenario card and read the top scenario out loud to all players. Each scenario will have three options to choose from. The reader selects which of the three answers most describes how they feel. Meanwhile, the rest of the players are trying to decide what the reader has chosen. All players, once they have made their selection, take their corresponding voting card and place it face down in front of them. Once all players have placed their vote, you now count one, two, three, and all players reveal their answers at the same time. Of course, there should be time for discussion on who chose what and why. But, for those players who have matched the reader's answer, they score a point for this scenario. And for those who didn't, they would not score a point. Now the next player becomes the reader and the process repeats. Play would continue like this until all players have been the reader for all three scenarios on their card. At the end of the game, the player who has the most points is the winner of the game. Now, if you're feeling confident with your answer, you can choose to place your Joker card along with your vote. Now, if you get it correct, you will score two points, but if you are incorrect, you will score none. Choose carefully when you use your Joker because once you have used it on a particular reader, you cannot use the Joker again on that reader for the rest of the game. And so that's Sust. Thanks for joining us today. We sure hope you enjoyed our short explanation on Sust. And if you did, uh, if you could give us a like and subscribe, we greatly do appreciate that. And if you feel so inclined, if you want to support the channel directly, you can head on over to Buy Me a Coffee and you can support us directly there. If you got any questions on uh, the game, please feel free to drop them down in the comments below, and I'll be sure to answer those as quickly as I can. Well, now we know the basics, so let's play.